doing? You join me in a car park. Now this, the Kia Stinger GTS, is my current daily driver. Now, however, if we come this way, I'm gonna show you, because I posted on Instagram a couple days ago that I was interested in getting a 4x4, and in specific, I was talking about this 4x4. It's currently doing a little dance behind me. It is the Tesla Model X, a car that intrigues me so much and I just can't wait to have a go. So we have, don't have it for very long. We've actually only got it for a night. It's already dark and we give it back before it gets light again. So it's all gonna be nighttime. That's why we're in a car park. We're gonna try and bring you along with my first impression and my first experience, literally driving a Tesla. The excitement is real. Archie Hamilton's even come to join us. Uh, there he is. Love it. Anyways, let's open the car, get started and show you a few gadgets. Cause that's what, cause that's what that's got. <laughs> cause that is what that's got. <laughs> Because that's what that car is all about. Yeah. Hey, okay, first gadget. Double click the key. Like you can open the rear door, I believe, if I do this. Yeah, there you go. But there's no, there's no like signs on it. So you just need to, f you need to put yourself in Elon Musk's brain. Elon Musk's? Musk? <laughs> Elon Musk's brain to figure this out. Anywho, it's got like electric doors. So you just press a button and they open. It's very nice, but they actually don't open all the way, so they just start to get out. But, you know, very, very cool. If you press a button, yeah, we can actually make them go up all the way. Yeah, make some noise, and then up it goes. Just, basically, it's got sensors all around it on these doors as well, so that it doesn't hit anyone or anything. You know, you know how people always say hop in? No one actually genuinely hops in. Because if you hopped in into a car, every time someone said that, it would look like this. <laughs> now, I think of this as being like the Apple sort of MacBook of cars. It's all done to be pretty, to be efficient, and to be usable. So there are no buttons apart from a glove box button right there, and the hazard lights. Apart from that, and the windows, there is nothing. Literally nothing around. Uh, and these. Well, my point doesn't mean. Um, <laughs> there's other buttons. <laughs> How do you close the door? Oh, I press the brake, don't I? So if I press the brake. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yes. I pull the handle and it opens. Whoa. We're getting way too worked up about this door. <laughs> Do you see that? Did I mention that it closes with the brake? The last gimmick, which I love, is this windscreen right here. I don't know why people don't talk about this. My thing is the coolest thing ever. So the windscreen just keeps going to behind your head. So when you're driving at daytime, I imagine, <laughs> probably not so much at night, it's just this huge windscreen in front of you and it's, uh, it's very, very cool. The car's actually on, so we're gonna get moving. It's always a weird sensation when you have an electric car like this. If you're wondering what we have on the sat nav, um, uh, uh, that's just the Mars Rover. Um, so yeah. Such an Elon Musk, Musk thing. Like, does he genuinely drive and then just think, shit, where's the Mars Rover? Let me check. Because, <laughs> I mean, that seems like, like genuinely, it seems like such an Elon Musk that he wakes up in the middle of the night <laughs> while sleeping in his Model X because he probably sleeps in one of these. There it is. Yeah, it, I can confirm it is still on Mars. So, Apart from the obvious fact that this car is rapid, what? like properly rapid, we're gonna test out the sound system while we go to Knightsbridge. See what it's like for daily driving, really. Bit of queen. Well, now that we've established that the speakers work well, another thing I do a lot around central London is take this car for some car spotting. So we need to establish whether this car is good at car spotting, really. Now, we have a Bentley Bentayga in front of us now. And in order to check off the list, car spotting for this car, I think with all of the glass, with everything, you can, it's quiet, you can sneak up on supercars. I think if we spot one cool car, we could tick off the car spotting in terms of the Tesla Model X. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that qualifies. Yeah, that'll do. Bugatti Chiron, car spotting, that'll do just fine. Oh, look, we've got 488 and a 4x4 squared. Well, I'd say that was a fairly successful little car spotting trip. Now, it's time to get some dinner. I feel like some Thai food, maybe, yeah? Fancy Thai food. Oh, and also, because we're on the theme of car spotting, how about a McLaren 650S Spider? Yeah, we'll, we'll have some of that, shall we? Let's go. Gordon Gramsci. 
Do they not go in? Oh, damn it. That's what he said. We've ordered some, some food. We'll be back with food right now. Did that work? It worked. Oh, brilliant. Look, we got our food now. Tight, bad tight. I just want to give you a couple stats about the Tesla while we're here. Now, I mentioned it does around 300 miles, more precisely, 275. It takes about 40 minutes to charge the car at a supercharger. Not 60, 4.4 seconds. Top speed, 155 miles an hour. And I think it looks great. Anyways, on that jolly note, I'm going to dig in and we'll see you guys back at the car. Yep. You know, I'm really. Jesus! <laughs> So we just now we got a full belly and this is the serious part of the video which has not gone too well. So now a friend actually lent us this car so this isn't like a marketing thing with Tesla. They never really do any marketing. So this was just a friend who lent it to me so I could see how I feel about it. And as far as the looks go, I'm I'm not completely convinced to be honest. He's saying it looks like a shark, I kind of get that. Um, I think it's cool, I think you could make it look cool. But the looks alone for me are lacking on this but especially also on its baby brother, the Model S. It's also very good this car if you feel like having a nap. We've obviously now tested it with the back seats down. So I am currently lying down in the boot, which we discovered is actually plentiful. And if you saw closely, I'm lying down now also because I totally <laughs> my ankle during that jump. <laughs> do it for the gram, YouTube. Do you have the car key? Uh, I do. Where is it? Are you leaving? Yeah. <laughs> I really like this car. I think it's cool and I think as a daily it would be fantastic, but there's something that doesn't really excite me about it. Yeah. Oh <laughs> god, the car's getting a little bit excited. But yeah, so <laughs> it's very unpredictable this car. But anyways, I love this car. I love the gadget, I love the practicality, and I love the way that you'd be able to use this and not pay for what you don't know? Anyways, I love all of the gadgets, the practicality, but there's something missing. It just really does not excite me. Last but not least, this car also has its own SIM card basically, so you can actually use internet and browser on the move, and you can subscribe to the Seb Delaney YouTube channel whilst in your Tesla, yay. My conclusion is that this car is everything you want it to be. It's brilliant, you know, very importantly, it's really good for the environment, um, which is something, you know, electric cars are a thing that we're gonna all be driving very soon, and we can't sort of shy away from it anymore. Um, it does everything brilliantly. If you have a lot of exciting cars and you just want a daily driver, then this is the this is the car. I mean, if you've got a family and stuff, this is just so good. It, is, it does everything you want it to do perfectly. Did we mention the autopilot as well? This has to be the ultimate daily driver thing. I'm not doing anything with my feet or my hand, and we're just cruising along this dual carriageway. It drives itself. The future is here, ladies and gentlemen. And I love it. This is brilliant. This is absolutely fantastic. I love it. I'm very impressed with it. And uh, I'm excited to see where Tesla as a brand are gonna go with the Model 3 and then finally the Roadster. But I, I'm very impressed. And having it for just one night, how easy it is to get in and kind of get used to all of the electronics, just something I was a bit scared of. How complicated is it gonna be to use? Um, it's actually just very intuitive and uh, they've done a brilliant job. So well done, Elon Musk. Well done to the whole Tesla team. You guys have done really well. And if you enjoyed this video, I know it's just a quick little overnight stint with a Tesla. Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll be seeing you again very, very soon. Cheers, guys. Have a lovely time. Bye-bye.